The Home Depot College Football Awards are built by the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Welcome back. We've had a great night so far, but of course now the big award and we have three great candidates. Yes. Who, 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 do you, who do you want to talk about? Well, Jameis uh, first, you know, uh, <laughs> if, <laughs> if uh, Jameis wins this award, he'd be the first freshman ever to win it, and he'd become the greatest athlete in Florida State history besides Charlie Ward be decorated. I want to say something, Desmond. Okay. I want to congratulate him from the quarterback 57 years ago. <laughs> I played quarterback for yeah. Florida State. And Jameis Winston. How about A.J. McCarron? You know, oh, you talk man. about A.J. It's hard not to talk about his tenure at Alabama, 36-3 and three as a starter, a couple of SEC championships, mm -hmm. a couple of national championships. But this year, he's the most efficient quarterback in the SEC. Against ranked teams, completed 76 out of 110 passes for over 900 yards, 10 touchdowns, and only one INT. And more importantly, he told me tonight right. he tied his own bow tie the first Impressive. time, too. Is that Very, right? the, got it right the first time. Oh, man. A little stylish. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, and, 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 of course, Johnny Menzo. I, oh. Forget stats. Uh, just what, what Johnny had to endure this year. Uh, I think anybody who's been around him and watched him grow as a player and the way he's grown off the field, I, I think uh, he should be very proud of everything he accomplished. And I think he improved. All the yeah. work that he put in the yeah. offseason definitely paid off for him for an outstanding 2013. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former Syracuse great, the 1987 Maxwell Award winner, Don McPherson. Since 1937, the Maxwell Award has operated with a singular focus to explore every corner of the map and every campus in the country in order to find the individual uniquely qualified to be called College Player of the Year. In 1987, I was that guy. But to be honest with you, I didn't think I was the best player in my own huddle. Like a lot of the guys who we honor here this evening, I was surrounded by an outstanding team and coaches who made me better every single day. But the thing that you realize as you get older is that when we had that locker room, it was our moment, it was our time. But then you realize that your moments are shared in that collective experience that is college football. The Maxwell Award, this evening, honors that individual who embodies that collective experience. Let's take a look at the finalists. The finalists for the 2013 Maxwell Award are Johnny Menzel, Texas A&M. Manziel waits, there's the snap. Now looks to tuck it and run. Manziel is throwing, he's got Evans. Touchdown! The two connect again. Here goes Johnny Football. That's why they love him here in College Station. A.J. McCarron, Alabama. 13th play of the drive coming up. McCarron goes to the end zone, jump ball, touchdown, Alabama! A.J.'s gonna throw out of the end zone. A.J. looks, throws, that goes the receiver. It's caught by Alabama for a touchdown! Jameis Winston, Florida State. Jameis going for it all. What a throw by Winston. Winston with great time. Firing end zone. Benjamin, touchdown. Winston, she's going to be. He got away from the sack. Goes down the end zone. On behalf of the Maxwell Football Club, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to present to you the winner of the 2013 Maxwell Award, A.J. McCarron, the University of Alabama. A.J. McCarron is the first SEC player to receive the Maxwell Award since Cam Newton in 2010 and first Alabama player to win. Don, thank you. AJ, congratulations on, on tying the bow tie and also, more importantly, on winning the Maxwell Award. You looked a little surprised when your name was called. Uh, super surprised. Uh, you know, I, like Mr. McPherson said, I don't think I'm the best player out of those uh, three or those other two guys that uh, were mentioned, but uh, I can't thank them enough. It's an honor to be here. You guys have achieved so much collectively as a team with Coach Saban. You've raised the crystal ball a couple times, SEC trophies. How sweet now is some, some personal recognition? This is just yours. 
uh, it's awesome. And, uh, but I can't thank my teammates enough. Uh, for everybody, all my teammates back home, I love you guys. Uh, you made this all possible. The Maxwell Award, the Unitas Award earlier this week. We talked earlier this week as well about trust, the trust that Coach Saban and the other coaches have in you, the, the trust that the teammates have in you. This guy made two play calls in crucial situations against A&M and against Auburn. They both scored touchdowns. What does that mean, that trust? <laughs> well, it, it was a long road with uh, Coach Saban. Everybody knows that. So uh, we, we've come a long ways from being you know, slapped on the rear end and making not top 10 to uh, winning this award. So I'm just glad he, he stuck with me. And uh, you know, it, it's been a good journey. For you and, and Jameis and Andre uh, and, and Trey Mason who's over here. Next stop is New York. Your first visit to New York City. What are you looking forward to about that? Just everything. Uh, I'm ready to see, you know, go sightseeing and uh, enjoy the moment and live in the moment. And, uh, it's a blessing, like I said. You live some great moments. AJ McCare, congratulations. The Maxwell Award winner. We will see you in New York City. Please join us Saturday evening for the Heisman Trophy presentation. Coming up next, Bowl Mania, presented by Capital One. And over on ESPNU, there is the after show. Happy holidays, folks. Thanks for watching, and good night.